All right, guys, when you get these, they will come packaged quite nicely. Here's uh, one that's open. And then, as you can see, you get a cloth sheath. A little desk again, you can ignore that. A little screwdriver for adjusting the pivots. Another uh, little screwdriver and a set of bronze phosphorus, bronze phosphorus washers, pivots, and screws. Okay, now I got the two colors, blue and pink, so that way I can do a half swap. And I think it'll look super, super nice. Um, but these have uh, literally perfect tolerances. No, no tap, no nothing. Um, the balance point is very, very neutral. We'll put the specs right there. And these do run on um, hardened steel bushings. So here, I'll take one out so you can see it. I'm gonna do the half swap anyway, so we're gonna be taking these apart. And it is nice because um, it is Zen pin, but they, they're just like, you know, you never have to adjust anything on There's only two screws on the whole thing. Uh, as you can see there, is the hardened steel bushing um, and everything's crowned off on the blade this is actually a bottle opener right there uh, as well and then let's take some closer looks uh, at the handles we do have a little bit of grip in the back it is a bead blast finish uh, these cuts are very very shallow they don't give too much for grip it, it does help a little but it does have quite a slick feeling in your hand like we're almost worried about it um, flying out of your hands a very very squared profile um, feels really really nice and so i'm going to pop this handle off and uh, throw it on that one also so and it does come with loctite to loctite everything down so after i do this uh, i will be loctiting it before we do the flipping portion of the video so i'm going to go ahead and half swap this and um, we'll be back, it'll be half swapped, and we'll get to flipping. I do think the two-tone color looks absolutely awesome, so I would recommend um, getting that. So first things first, the things I really like about this is I really like the balance. It's very predictable to flip, it feels nice. Um, the grip, I wish it was a little more grippy, we'll get more into that in a minute, but the nice crownness on the blade, that feels good, it doesn't pinch or anything like that, it feels, you know, really really quite nice um but yeah i do wish there was a little more grip some tricks could be a little challenging um especially things like behind the eight ball where you're switching you know from like your finger to your thumb it kind of feels a little lack of grip here in the back but that's something as you play with it you'll definitely get used to it um the bead blast is very very aesthetically pleasing that being said um so it feels very comfortable in your hand uh, it is just a little slick um you know i wish there was a little more like grips over here-ish and these cuts i wish they were a little more aggressive and deep um but it i must say though it does look absolutely stunning so i think overall this is a definitely a great balisong trainer for the money if you only have 65 bucks to spend um this is great i think anything under a hundred dollars this this really can stand with anything in that price point I'm um, very, very rock solid. Um, once again, everything feels good. I like how these are the only screws uh, you need to adjust. The bottle opener works. I tried it off camera. Not the best bottle opener in the world, but you'll definitely be able to get your beer open, that's for sure. Um, and overall, just really nice. It's nice to have a nice channel construction belly like this that you can kind of beat and not feel horrible about it. Like, I mean, if I beat the crap out of this thing, well, first off, I have two of them. But <laughs> besides that, if I beat the crap out of it, it's no big deal because it was only 65 bucks and um, as long as you make sure you loctite these two screws there's really no maintenance you got to do these bushings there's no there's not like bearings that can get dirt in them or anything you just got to keep them clean um, and for the most part bushings are very low maintenance so really dig that also too the machining looks really nice there's no machining marks like anywhere on the inside of the channels even uh, looks really good there's one little scratch but that's from me i dropped it on concrete um so yeah so that wasn't a machine mark but overall very very impressed i think for 65 dollars you really cannot go wrong with this thing um i think everybody should check this out the link will be down below um and uh yeah thank you all for watching i'll see you later